are now going to work the in focus exercises on a few horses. We had a challenge getting the footage we felt we needed for this DVD. You know how I said earlier in this DVD that most horses will come to you if you know how to ask? Well, it took five horses to get one that actually had to use exercises two and three to get to come. I estimate that 90% will come to you if they have never been placed in a situation where they were taught not, not to trust people. My dad questioned this, but my efforts while producing this segment supported this estimate. I taped the first two clips last spring when we brought in Boogie and Mo for training. I wanted them on day one. I had to wait until this spring for two more youngsters to have another opportunity to see a first session. I really wanted you to see the first sessions. I did not have to go to exercises two and three on these youngsters either. I needed a fifth horse. For the fifth clip, I selected a border horse that is an excellent show horse, but gets very distracted, paying his handler little respect when being held. He turned out to be the perfect candidate for demonstrating use of all three exercises. Now, there's one exercise that we have not introduced to you called Curiosity Shop. If all go well, Curiosity Shop is a wonderful tool that we use for beginning to introduce horse to sensory type obstacles like tarps, balls, umbrellas, and more. I decided to keep all five demos because they all show different things. The important thing is to see how relaxed and focused each of these horses are when we are finished with our work. The first two horses, Mo and Boogie, started out very relaxed. They ended up being excellent candidate to do, demonstrate the curiosity shop exercise. The last three horses all started out very distracted and in state of high energy, but by the end, they were following me around like a little puppy. The difference in working with a distracted horse and one that is relaxed and focused is significant. We have many very big athletic horses at the farm. It is so much safer and productive if your horse is relaxed and focused before beginning. Remember, with Taji Horsemanship, we practice preventative horsemanship by using checklist. Why put yourself in a situation that can be avoided that may result in getting you hurt or your horse learning a bad habit, especially if you don't have to? These in-focus exercises are very powerful tools to have in your Taji toolbox and can go a long way towards making every ride with your horse a good one. So let's begin with our first horse, Mo. This is Mo. Mo is a three-year-old chicaner. He has only been, never been in the round pen, actually. This is his first time in. Today, Mo is going to be helping me demonstrate these in-focus exercises. Good boy, Moe. Good boy. Daddy, good boy. Now here's a perfect example. He came right in and did exactly what I wanted him to do. He's focused, relaxed on me, and ready to work. So there's no need for us to do steps one, two, and three. So we're ready to go to step four, curiosity shop. What I have here is a lunge whip attached to one of my sensory items. Now what most people would do is they would throw it at him and chase him with it, which would also be called sacking out. That's something that I do not do. I use it as a reverse psychology and I get him to follow me and follow it so he's not afraid of it. First, I'm going to get his attention, get me to follow him. Then I'm going to slowly drop it. Good boy. And I just kind of get him, get him to follow it. Be a little curious with it. Hey, Moe. And what I want is him to play with it and kind of pick it up, maybe goof off with it, try to trample it. Oh, you walk fast, Moe. 
you might step on it. Now I'm going to gather it back up. I'm going to go back over. I'm going to get his attention. Bowie. Bowie. Gonna get his attention. And I'm gonna drop it again. And I'm always gonna release the pressure. Oh wait. I never wanna scare him and go at him with it. And once I think he's comfortable and okay with that, I might pick it up and go to my next object. Good boy. Or I might want to take a little bit more complicated and I might want to just rub it to him. Easy, baby. I put it on him. Make sure he's okay. He gets a little tense. I might put it back in front of him, make sure he knows it's okay. Make sure he knows it's okay. Now I'm going to go back and get his attention because obviously he's gotten bored with it. Going to catch his eyesight. And I'm going to invite him and follow me by releasing pressure. Then I'm going to drop it and let him see it one more time. Then I'm going to get him to come to me and give him a big pat. Good boy. And then I'm going to tell him, thank you for coming and this is a safe place to be. Oh. Now I'm going to give my whip to my mom. And we're going to try another object. Now we're going to go for something a little bit scarier. Or Mo thinks the whip is a little more entertaining, so he's going to start focusing me. Okay, come on, Moe. I know, I know. First, I'm going to get his attention by catching his eye. Then I'm going to drop the object and drag it, letting him follow me. But um, we're going to reattach it to the beach ball. Good boy, Moe. Good boy. Okay, first we're going to reattach the whip to the beach ball. Maybe. My mic. <laughs> Good boy. That thing's expensive, Moe. And it's a good thing that he's curious and wants to figure out what in the world I'm doing with this round object and stuff like that. So I'm going to drag the beach ball. Attempt to drag the beach ball. Easy, baby. Gonna get his focus back on me. Moe. Moe. 
Good boy. Good boy. That a boy. Do we have any more tape or anything? I'm gonna walk around at the beach ball. We're gonna keep walking away from him. Gonna always release the pressure. We never wanna walk towards him with the beach ball. Now I'm going to stop and ask him to come to me and reward him. Oh, no, no. Okay, we're just going to let him play with that. Because horses are curious. I just hope that doesn't pop. Good boy. Now I'm going to stop and reward him for focusing on me. Now I'm going to bring the beach ball over to my mom. And we're going to try something else. This could be interesting. Oh, we don't really know about this one. Now, Moe, Mo has my... Mo is focused on me and ready to go into the next obstacle. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the ground. If he's a little more curious about this one. Always release the pressure. Now I'm going to do something real quick. Come on. It's an umbrella. Well then. I'm gonna catch his eye. And then I'm gonna back up and release pressure to invite him to come in. boy. Now I'm going to give him a big hug. And believe it or not, folks, this is the first time he's been introduced to any of these in items. Release the pressure. Invite him to come in towards me. Going to catch his eye. Release the pressure. Gonna catch his eye. Release the pressure. Invite him to come in towards me. And I'm gonna put his halter on and let him go back into the barn. If I can get the halter on. Tall mean gun. Tall boogie. Good boy, Mo. Come on, let's go. Good boy. And he's done for the day. Well, that probably was not what you were expecting. 
Yes, this really was the first day that Mo had ever been in a round pen. When horses are born at Carousel Farm, they are handled as foals. After they are weaned, they are turned out to mature. They are fed every day, but they basically live outside until they are ready to go into a training program. They aren't handled a lot, but they have never experienced a situation that has taught them not to trust people. If you saw Mo in the field, you would see what an energetic and athletic youngster he really is. As I said earlier, horses are also very curious. If they have no reason not to trust you, they are all for a little fun and games. Let's see what happens with our next youngster.